what's happening it is time to go live everybody so for those of you just tuning in it's me cave on I'm wearing my California style I got a uh, white bandana white is not affiliated with any gang white is only affiliated with cleaning service ladies so they're the only ones who will beat me up for wearing what I'm wearing and we are live on both Instagram and YouTube at the same time coming to you from the airport California Airport going to Washington DC now for those of you who don't know I get out to Washington DC about once a year last year we sold out two shows so they gave me a whole weekend Thursday to Friday to Saturday one Sunday when you go from two shows to six shows we need everybody and I'm talking about everybody to get your tickets and uh, and make sure the club uh, doesn't regret bringing you know bringing the most famous half Persian comedian in the world if that makes any sense so that's what we're doing and while we're waiting for everybody to tune in go ahead and put your New Year's resolutions put your New Year's resolutions in the comments I will read them out loud New Year resolutions that's right I'll tell you one of my New Year resolutions is to be happier and not be so um, upset with stupid people I've already failed on my flight here there was a gentleman whistling behind me on the flight not just taking a seat and going and then not just like when we landed I'm talking a full-blown serenade whistle in the back of my head for the whole flight so if you enjoy whistling and the art of the whistle you would have loved to sit where I was sitting and his wife was right next to him isn't that the reason women are there to keep the husband from doing as much stupid stuff as possible so I'm sitting there trying to wonder I'm wondering why is the husband not getting reprimanded by his wife why is she not going honey honey we're in public now we don't whistle in public uh, so she wasn't doing her job and it was very annoying so I can't wait I filmed him whistling and he looked at me and watched me filming here's why I respect the guy he didn't break whistle the flow of his whistle. he didn't break whistle flow one time he looked up at me filming going and right back to the whistle so at that point I had to say you know what I respect you because you are an ass you are a complete jackass and you know it but you're okay with it you've come to accept it and it helped that he was like I don't know like 60 maybe 55 years old I was very helpful for him because I knew he had accepted what he looked like how he sounded and how he liked to whistle in people's ear on a flight my question is this what would you do if someone was whistling on the flight would you a film him and make a video like I'm doing now B would you say something C would you do something I haven't even would you start a fight would you turn around and whistle back in his face there's so many options I, and I was just going like this. my hand was going like this that's how you know I was getting angry I was going if you see my hand go like this it means I am considering something and I'm not sure what it is and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about it so anyway that's what happened it is now time to tell you some upcoming tour dates we already told you about Washington DC we need to sell it out that way they bring me back once a year or more to DC the second thing is Seattle so the other Washington how many comedians do one Washington then the other the same week one El Paso Texas Brea Improv Hermosa Beach California don't forget Pasadena Ice House North Hollywood people in Hollywood kept saying when are you gonna come back to LA as you know I lived in LA for 15 years it's just not fun to perform there you can see Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle on accident and I'm like yo the most famous half Persian but people kept saying don't don't sleep on LA we will come so that is now up on Kavon.tv 
We also have Edmonton, Toronto, and Minnesota. I consider Minnesota Canada. Is that weird? I consider Minnesota Canada. Because they both talk kind of like similar, don't you know? And they say a boot. Like, I don't know about that. I got to get to the border there, don't you know? Plus, half the people in Minnesota are now from Somalia, which is also Canada. All right. Uh, someone in the comments said, Kayvon, why didn't you sing along with the whistle boy? I couldn't tell what song he was whistling. That was the worst part. You know, if, if someone's like whistling like, uh, I like it like that, you know. You know, keep working that back fat. I don't know how to act. Slow motion for me. Slow motion. Get that back fat moving. Slow motion for me. That'd be cool. I'd be in there. I'd be dancing. But he was just doing like a. I'm like, is this an opera? Is this R&B? Was that R. Kelly? What genre are we in right now, sir? And why is your wife not slapping the hell out of you? All right. Uh, I think I gave you guys all the different cities I'm going to. We've added so many El Paso, Houston, Dallas, and Oxnard. A lot of people never heard of Oxnard. Oxnards. Ox, ox, nards. Uh, 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 uh. So that is it, folks. Uh, the whistle happened. Nima is in the newest video I posted on Instagram. You'll see me and him walking. There was a digital display of people walking, so we kind of walked this way, told you to talk this way. And 2020 is already off to an angry, angry start. Maybe I'll have to redo my New Year resolutions during No Ruse. If you know what No Ruse is, give me a thumbs up in the comments. Give me a heart on Facebook. No Ruse is a different kind of a holiday that many of you have never heard of. But for my Iranian or half Persian fans, you'll know Nowruz is Persian New Year, starts in March. So even though I got mad at the whistle boy, I can calm down in March and start over again. Two chances for the one half. Now, uh, do you have a Nowruz party coming up in your town? Every year I attend 15 Nowruz parties and I do a comedy section for all ages, family friendly. If you are interested, now is the chance to reserve your date. We already have five schools who have asked. Nobody's finalized yet. They're, you know, Persians are last minute. By the month of March, I'll have 15 lined up. So if you want your Persian New Year event to have comedy instead of just a long, sad poem and then a piece of kebab and one scoop of rice because they have to feed it to all 400 people, Hit me up, say, Kayvon, here's the club near me. Here's the Oklahoma club, the South Carolina club, the Uni United States of America, the Canadian club. Last year I did 15, the year before 15, the year before 15. Now's your chance to secure comedy, something new for your school. I've done Denver once. I've done Boulder, Colorado three times. We want to go somewhere new this year. I'm talking San Jose. I'm thinking parts of Canada I've never been to, Winnipeg, all right? How about Austin, Texas? I think I did that one last year, actually. What about, what about New Jersey? That's been about four years. Uh, Connecticut. If you have any friends, family, or fans in that area or someone putting on a Persian New Year event, have them hit me up. You know my website, kvon.tv. They go on kvon.tv. They message me, and boom, we have got the ball rolling to bring comedy. And I won't wear this. I will wear all bilaksh, and I will speak more Persian so that everyone can understand me. Not Farsi, but I will speak like that so everybody can understand the joke. All right, folks, thank you for watching. I'll see you in D.C. in one week. Send all your USA loving red, white, and blue Washington, D.C. friends. Bye.